How's this for a jello mold? It's called peaches and cream. Long way from your average school cafeteria dessert. And a prime example, Martha Teichner tells us, of just how much wiggle room gelatin can provide. If you stare at jello long enough, you might even see your childhood through it, or a hospital lunch tray. However old you are, it's suspended your memories, good or bad, in sparkling color. Name another food which does that. Well, welcome to the Jell-O Museum. The history of Jell-O begins here in Leroy in 1897. That's Leroy, New York, where a carpenter named Pearl Waite, who also made his own cough syrup and laxative tea, invented the fruit-flavored gelatin dessert in 1897. Now, it's his wife, May, that actually names it Jell-O. But, the as you'll learn at the Jell-O Museum in Leroy, nobody bought it. So this man, a patent medicine manufacturer named Orator F. Woodward, stepped in. He goes to Mr. Waite and offers him $450 for the exclusive rights to Jell-O, which he gets. Woodward dispatched salesmen who handed out Jell-O recipe books and free samples to teach housewives what to do with the stuff. Before Jell-O, in Europe and the United States, molded salads and desserts were for the rich, with servants who spent hours and hours boiling collagen out of bones and other animal parts. That's basically what Jell-O is. Lynn Beluccio is curator of the Jell-O Museum. The collagen today is extracted from animal hides, and it's it's the part of the animal hide they can't use for making leather sofas. It's not made out of hooves. It's never been made out of hooves. And the Jell-O company from the very beginning said no horses hooves, no cattle hooves. No. From the very beginning, the Jell-O company understood advertising. A Jell-O girl was introduced in 1904. The company hired major artists, people like Norman Rockwell and Maxfield Parrish, the trick for them was to get the Jell-O to look transparent. Each decade of Jell-O advertising reflects American culture. J-E-L-L-O. Jack Benny pitched Jell-O to adults on the radio in the 1930s. By then, the company was owned by General Foods, now part of Kraft. I had this friend, Old Weird Harold, you know. And then in the 1970s came Bill Cosby. Fun with Jello gelatin jigglers. Pitching Jello to kids on TV. My compliments to the chefs. <laughs> Today, approximately 420 million boxes of Jello are sold in the United States every year, and a billion Jello cups. So it's no wonder somebody had the bright idea that with its unique properties. Jello would make a fine art form. We really wanted the audience to really kind of respect this medium, and it's it's a pretty, it's kind of a very sophisticated material. I can right. Michelle Zata is a product designer. Nadia Siddiqui works for a human rights group on Afghanistan policy. It wasn't sort of a tongue-in-cheek. Let's make some funny jellos. What Zata and Siddiqui organized was a gelatin design event that was held last year in a Brooklyn artist studio. So this is all Jello. It's Jello. Uh huh. We've made pancakes with syrup, a nice smoky bacon, some eggs, a little fruit cocktail. The concept was I wanted to do an alcoholic Jello shot, and I thought, what better vehicle than a bullet? And then we taste a little bit. This is Jell-O. That's awesome. They never dreamed of in Leroy. So Martha, take a look what happens. Water and gelatin. So is this avant-garde Jell-O from innovative Jell Spanish chef Jose Andres. Here at Mini Bar, his restaurant and laboratory in Washington. You're going to be able to control water in the palm of your hand. He sounds like a chemist. But what he shows us looks like magic. In this case, we're going to be using something we call sodium alginate. It's like a salt of seaweed. Gelatin made out of seaweed has been used in Asia for centuries. 
Here, it's being used to coat a spoonful of colored water. So it forms into a sphere. And put it's it, amazing. I want you to put it here on the glass. It's like... These it's, it's just happen away. in front of your eyes. Take a look what happens. Oh. Through the power of gelatin, he's really bringing a new philosophy in how to understand the ingredients mm -hmm. and the possibilities that we have in our hands. I'll drink to that. Champagne, with little bubbles of black currant liqueur in the bubbly. A little jelly... Balls. balls. Huh. Liquid inside that they're going to be exploding in your mouth. Ooh, that sounds fun. Ooh, the power of gelatin. Just be out, out. Oh.